Yeah, might disconnect again. <laughs> <laughs> My VPN doesn't trust anything. I okay, know this now. It's fucking for real. Okay. <laughs> So everybody, dude, we got, this is a real, this is a fucking professional operation we got running here. We got fucking tighten our tire shoelaces, to tighten up our fucking boot straps and all that shit. And a three, and a two, and a one, two, bitch. So everybody, welcome to the next episode, the uh, next, fuck. <laughs> welcome to the next, welcome to the next episode, this episode of the podcast. Uh, Don Cat. <laughs> <laughs> episode 12, joining us today, people in the... People, people in the in the hot seats. Uh, today we got top left corner in the green, all in the wind, dude. Can I get a can I get a little hello, little little mini introduction? Excuse me. <laughs> the fuck I'm was enjoying that? my chips right now. <laughs> it's beautiful. Next guy. Uh, I around the flame and black pepper. Huh? <laughs> dude, your setup sounds better than last time. Actually, you fucking. Uh, Oh, shoot, last time you were sharing microphone situation with the with the Jones and yeah, you got it. Yeah, it was on the floor between. Yeah. Did they say on the phone instead of on the floor? It's yeah, on the too, floor between them. It's not too shabby. Next, uh, next guy in the Hold wait. Up. What's this? Next guy. A uh, long time, a long time, uh, practically a fucking co-host of the whole situation. We got Geb, dude. Geb, pretty much in every episode. Chilling, killing, driving cars real fucking fast. Talking a little fucking low, though. Let me crank you up a little bit. Can I get a little hey, yeah? Hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah that sounds good. That's My nice. name is Geb. Motherfucker. Man of the earth. <laughs> John Zing, AFK, potentially coming back. The, uh, we don't know about that one. We'll see what happens. He did leave us a poem, though. If he does fucking disappear. Uh, he did leave us with some words of wisdom. I'm not going to read all this because it's like... A lot, but it is a beautiful thing. Chat GPT generated poetry about uh, his World of Warcraft character. <laughs> it's beautiful. And last but not least, the big man himself, the man, the myth, the legend, also co host kind of dude. You've been in a bunch of these fucking things. Church of Mandela, one of the founding fucking characters, priest of the Zulu Wars. We got a gay, we got a gap, gapped crusader. What does that stand for? You? What, does that, what does that fucking mean again? Oh, that was last episode. Yeah, yeah. fuck you. <laughs> okay, so the fuck, and there's gonna be like a another guy, sin, uh, sinful fucking monk popping in at some point, one of these days, one of these uh, minutes, hours. All right, we're in. I think all my shit's working. Oh, how are you, motherfuckers, doing? It's good. It's a nice, uh, nice Wednesday evening for you. Yeah, uh, yeah. The weather's <laughs> shitty. It's snowing. Not cool. <sighs> Not good. Before I came in here, before I popped in, there was a, there was a little, uh, a little fucking sharing going on with the, some game shit. But I guess that's not relevant to most of the people that are tuning into this. They don't know what the fuck is happening. The myth of Zarkanda was kind of a beautiful thing. It kind of transcends fucking video game worlds. Zarkanda prophet, dude, saw the end of the fucking servers before they happened. Destined to fucking rot. Why, why is your serv Why is why are you guys not playing that character anymore? He's, he's, he just thinks. He just he sees things before they happen, the motherfucker. He's... <laughs> he's there was a server that we were playing on back in the day, and we were having a good-ass time. It was cool. But uh, things were getting slow. It was kind of ramping down. Um, people were transferring off of it en masse to, like, another mega kind of server thing. And fucking Zarkan, the character that Jonesing was playing, he was, like, the prophet of fucking Doom, dude. He... He, he knew, he knew the end times were coming. He had no faith and he was ready. He was trying to fucking shepherd the people over to the new <laughs> server. And we resisted it at first. We still, we just kept playing. We're like, oh, we got a little thing going on here. Uh, there was a, there was eventually, eventually a movement over, dude. And uh, yeah, he was one of the chiefs that led that movement. And then the next server that he went to, <laughs> this time around, meet the same fate, dude. It's dying again. <laughs> and now he's fucking, dude. He's fucking, he's just, he's, he's kind of, maybe he's killing it. He's the angel of death for these fucking things. So yeah. yeah, he's like the destroyer. Yeah, you guys to the Red Sea and you got to split the sea, man. He's going to lead you to the promised land. He's taking us, dude. He's taking us there. One step at a time. He's top parser to all the fucking raids. The motherfuckers like, uh, there's a thing where like at the end of the raid, you can look at your stats and it compares what you did compared to other people playing your class with like your gear score and all that shit. He's like a 95 plus kind of parser, dude. He's fucking, he is, he is leading us. He's a little fucking little angel of that fucking character. <laughs> Enough about the fucking bullshit game shit, dude. Time to the time for the real life, real life things. Brass, the brass. Wait, let me take a sip of the tea. The brass ta tax of it all. I started watching this new anime. You? 
Yeah. Uh, one, one Piece Man, I think. Oh, yeah. I heard oh, about one that one. Piece Man. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. It's beautiful. It's, how it's, about a bald pirate. <laughs> it's about a bald pirate, dude. AI yeah. chat GPT script. Mixing the fucking characterizations. <laughs> I should put that in chat GPT. <laughs> be interesting actually one piece dude it is a beautiful fucking thing I'm still on that grind you were you at in the in the show what finished the skypea hell yeah the even. best season dude skypea yeah. actually the description of skypea I loved it. Uh, when you told me about that all in the wind your description of skypea that was actually when i first started watching the show when you were wa- when you were at that part and i was like dude it's still way too fucking long to watch even that far, like 200 episodes in, like, I don't even want to watch that <laughs> shit. You told that, me, huh? <laughs> go ahead. I was saying, when you when you told me the the lightning god on the fucking island in the sky of fossilized clouds and shit, that was sold. Yeah, yeah. I was fucking sold. The concept of it was crazy, man. I don't understand what the fuck you were talking about, but it was cool. It seemed like things that, I don't know, it scratched, like, the right, arc, the right parts of my imagination. It, like, uh, it did a good job of showing, like, there what the sickest people. thing is, is that Skypea, the thing that makes it the one of the craziest things is because it's supposed to be like, the only way to get to it is once you cross the grand, uh, the red line. You have to go to the other side of the, uh, the grand line, you have to go to the new world and you have to climb the tree of uh, the, the elder tree to uh, the, the fucking, what's it called? Um, the, in Elbaf, there's a giant tree that leads to Skypea, the Sky Islands. So you could only get there to the Sky Islands from going way further into the thing. So they, they technically went to like end game right away, and then they fucking went back to regular shit. Yeah, that's why it's like a, it's like a power level kind of skip. You don't exactly know how because yeah, Luffy wins because he kind of counters the last boss there a little bit. That's like a big chunk of it. And yeah, it's like yeah. a disconnected kind of part of the fucking world that people can't really get to regularly. So it's it's a sick kind of power level. Fucking yeah, it game. showed like there's a it showed like there's another world that pirates and marines, you know. Yeah. And it just showed like that stuff, and it was super sick. A small one, but a fucking cool one. Yeah, it's like a glimpse of it. Ooh, let's talk things a little bit more general, dude. That you fucking yoink and gapped into the fucking conversation a little bit too, because he doesn't really watch this shit. And also, there yeah, are like uh, there's things you could talk about in a more kind of in like a less direct way that are still cool about the thing. The thing being the the show, like uh, I don't know what what would you say about it uh, thematically or like uh, in terms of things that have happened in it that are cool that makes you stick around to go through hundreds and fucking a thousand plus episodes of this fucking adventure uh, dude. i'm scared of saying anything because i'm up to date oh okay no <laughs> not, not not like spoiler shit just things like in a in a more general kind of idea kind of way what's some uh yeah, that, that's all like 800 episodes are going on <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> okay not not about that point specifically just like in general what's what's cool dude what's the main- uh uh, it's the progression of the characters, I guess. Yeah. The the thing of like hopes and dreams, I guess. Hell yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Tell, talk a little bit of it. Tell me some fucking words, dude. Being free. Tell me about your fucking hopes and dreams, dude. Tell me what what does this fucking make you want to do in the real life world, dude? How does this fucking taking the pirates? It might make you want to fucking just start stealing cars and shit, driving Pirate, into dude. the water. Yeah, you are gonna be free, man. Yeah, Zoro, yeah. best swordsman, Luffy, king of the pirates, and me. Position. No. You're a broke dude. Oh, you haven't met Brook yet, but you're a fucking broke. Dude. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that, okay, so that's yeah, right, also that, skeleton. The yeah. Afro dude, dude, obviously. He's got a pro actually. Yeah, that's one thing I could. Uh, yeah, I'll try to fucking put into word a little bit to get this, get this little thing going. See if this, see if there's any fucking juice in this. Me, like, uh, something that I think is cool about the show is kind of exactly what you guys are saying where what you said it all in the wind there with the progression of the characters and get what you're saying where the 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 team has their different kind of specialties applying that to like the real world there was a point when i was uh, big into the show and i was kind of looking at people uh through the lens of the show a little bit where i was looking at uh, at people as like uh because the thing with the show right there's the there's this dude the main character guy luffy and he's a uh, wants to be the king of the pirates and what it exactly means to be the king of the pirates is kind of undefined there's this idea that there's this big treasure and once you get it you get it but there's also like as you go through the show it becomes a more complex kind of thing and like the it there's there's more it's, it becomes a bit more kind of nebulous like a bit more mysterious the idea of what it means to be the king of the pirates it's just like a way of kind of living and it's it's more about the the journey than the destination a little bit as you go through it but uh the thing of like 
he wants to be the best at something. He has this fucking dream that kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense. He just knows he wants to do it and he's going to figure it out along the way. And he wants to bring people along for the fucking ride that are kind of at that level of, uh, of just awesome where they're just, they're just sick motherfuckers that have this one thing. And, the adventure. Yeah. And they're just going to do what they, they're going to do they They just want to, they, they just want to have this fucking goal, this ambition, this dream, this big fucking thing that they want to do. And it's like the story. Uh, oh yeah, go no, go for it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm not gonna finish what you're saying. I'm gonna save it after. It I was saying that yeah, they they uh, they work together to do it, which is like a pretty pretty kind of standard thing. But I think this show does it super fucking good, and the way that everybody in it really feels like their own individual, fully kind of lived uh, peoples, and the way that they all tie in so kind of beautifully to follow into the fucking uh, the dream, you know, is cool. And there was a point I was looking at a real life human beings in the fucking not animated world, and just being like. Like uh, we're we're a fucking we're a little fucking pirate gang a little bit out here too, you know what I'm saying? We're a little fucking we got our fucking people with all their, collectively uh, hang together to uh, not necessarily achieve the same goal, but yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it's not, the, but that's the, the, uh, the process to uh, the adventure going through the, it together or whatever. Yeah, I can't speak of yeah and uh, but uh, people like not to say that the characters in the show don't have their fucking complexities of course they do they have like their uh they're, it's, they're well written enough for like yeah, a, a story best story it's fucking sick. When people in the real world, they're they're a little bit more. You got you got. There's more variables in the fucking, you know what I mean, in the world we actually live in. So looking at people as combinations of like the main characters is kind of the better way to do it, and that's where it kind of gets neat. If if you had to take like uh, like two like two or th- like three kind of main characters in the show and take bits of them and make fucking you guys, you could kind of do that too, which is kind of cool. Like all in the wind, you got like a. You got like a Frankie, Zoro, Nami kind of mix, I think. And like the like the fucking, the training, exer- the workout, the trainer, training, fitness, fucking best swordsman kind of fucking the thing of the Zoro world. The Nami kind of navigator, uh, make the, 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 the money, the, the kind of money person, the navigator person, the fucking gotta, gotta get us by to the next kind of, and the fucking, the Frankie, like the, the big dude with the fucking mechanic, the kind of car kind of manual worker, kind you know what I mean? Like fucking, I started looking at people yeah, as, as that kind of shit. And I thought that was, that was kind of fucking neat, dude. I thought that was cool. No, you could say anyone could see themselves in those characters to see other people in them almost. It's, uh, they're like, uh, there's a bit of everyone in everything. Yeah, I think that speaks to how well made the show is, but also how much just oh, I, yeah. I just watched so much of that fucking show, dude. It's it kind of took over parts. But of it's the cool brain. also because I feel like, like the first like seasons, like the first season, especially if you watched it with like the four kids dubbing, it was yeah. really felt like a kid show. Like I, I hated it. I couldn't watch the show. Yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like, like I probably it, saw getting like threatened. That first gets threatened with a fucking instead of holding a gun to the guy's head, he's holding like a fucking. It's a pistol, but instead of being a pistol, it's like a. Underneath, it's a trigger, but it's a mousetrap of a fucking hammer. <laughs> so it's like it's threatening the guy with a fucking big uh, mousetrap of a rubber hammer on it. Like it's like, yo, what is he gonna do to him? But in real life, he's actually threatening him with a gun. So yeah. it was more actually threatening than that. So the whole show was a bit stupid. And then they had given Sandri like a fucking dirty, uh, a retarded French cook. Like he had something like he had a potato in his mouth the whole time he was talking. <laughs> and then season two, they changed him to an Italian voice. It's like he went from a French cook to an Italian. And then after that, he just sounded weird. And then he was like a Mr. Prince or something into the crocodile part. And like, I have no Ooh. idea what you guys are talking about, but it sounds fucking funny. <laughs> One piece, man. So I come back as like, was like, uh, he was the French and now he's Italian. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we're talking about... You know what it felt like? It felt like Pierre from fucking... Uh, from uh, Danger Danger Five. Ah, uh, I don't remember what that is. I know what Danger Five is. I don't remember the characters by name. Yeah, the the the, the, the uh, Latin guy that makes the drinks, Danger and then in the second five. season he's a oh, black guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, that show was actually surprisingly fucking sick. That was like Australian, right? It was made, and then it yeah, yeah, ever, man. for like two seasons. <laughs> Yeah, Jones and good one. Yeah, yeah, off topic, boys, but uh, yeah, for you Laval boys, Montreal boys, the roads are fucking horrible. Zero visibility. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Crashing yeah, everywhere and shit. He's like, yo, I'll be there by 10 latest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. No, it's horrible. Like, taking the highway, you're fucked. I was just crossing the bridge at a point. And and I'm no like, do you mean 10 minutes, Max? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I went over the single bridge, and there was literally no visibility i couldn't see the car in front of me so i could only imagine the fucking highway 
Det, 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 det är bra, det är bra. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's a fucking stormy kind of day. Yeah, good day to stay indoors, dude. Yeah. Yeah, bro, I gotta shovel that shit at work tomorrow. I'm shoveling before I leave and then I work. Oh. oh, you guys do that shit? You, you fucking maintain the outdoors too with the... Um, it's not that bad. We have like a, we have a machine and shit, but yeah. yeah, it's still pain in the ass, you know? Dude, I'm looking at it's pictures the... of Danger 5. I fucking forgot so much what happened in this show. Oh, it's it a great show. I watched it all like... Uh, watched it again like, recently. Like last year. Again. Again. Yeah, it's just too good. It was good. Yeah. It's too good. I think you might have shown this actually. Like back in the days. A couple of years back, I, I was like, I tried making the the cocktails. You know, whenever oh, yeah, yeah. the episodes, yeah, some of them are really good actually. Making them just by yourself, you were just at home drunk, kind of chilling, or this was a part of a thing. No, no, I just tried. I just got the ingredients and I just made them mm, myself. Just spiced up, spiced up the evening a little bit, you know, little solo, good. solo beverages. Yeah, my stupid thing just kind of drinking, but uh, yeah. Oh, sick. Jones, what is this fucking messaging me, dude? I can't leave. So just tell me, just tell me. Oh, yeah, so so if you want to do the, like the, the dailies, because uh, they're both in the same dungeon. Oh, yeah, maybe later. One, uh, maybe later. In one piece, at a point, uh, you find out that the Gold Rogers story, a bit, a bit, it's like not a spoiler, but it's like a. Mm, careful. The it's a one he, he goes, in that goes on to his adventure and decides to go uh, uh, on his journey. And he first, his first person he met was fucking Rayleigh, which is his, uh, his lieutenant or whatever, his second in command, which is like the equivalent of Zoro. Yeah, and in Japanese, yes and no are the same word. It's just pronounced longer. One really, it's like nah and nah. <laughs> so it's like yeah. Is this, so a, it's, real, this is a real thing? Yeah, it's a real thing. Yes, so and no the is the same is, word. Yeah, it's just pronounced longer. One. What the fuck is that? So when they met the first time, what? Rogers tells Rayleigh, "It's like let's go on an adventure at sea together." And the guy's like, "Nah, nah, nah whatever." He understood. The guy said, "No, go." Uh, but yeah, it'd be. Anyways, it's it, what was it? It's no or go away. That are the same word. I have no idea. I forgot. Long story <laughs> short, misunderstood each other. He, he was telling him no, go away, and he he understood. Yes, come on. And definitely, he jumped onto his adventure, and they started the adventure like One Piece. Th that's the that's the uh, that's canon the fucking thing, or they fucked it up yes, in the dub. It's a canon thing. Oh hell yeah! I just didn't understand <laughs> the language they were speaking. Yeah, I just uh, I just forgot to also like uh, if it's yes or no, they're the same one or uh, come or go. <laughs> I mean, I'm just using Google Translate and uh, it's not it's not working out, but I'm sure there's more fucking intricacies to the language than what Google Translate has to offer. Because right now, yes is high and no is fucking uh, no is bango. <laughs> fucking, that's kind of sick, but uh. Not the same word, but maybe it's something like this. Maybe Google Translate. Uh, this, uh, I'm, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. It's just context, I heard, I, I heard it on a One Piece podcast. Right? In a sentence, probably yeah. changed it up. <clears throat> Jones, hey dude, are we gonna do your intro? Let's do a little way. This thing of your little picture up there, little sponge, little sponge boy. Where are you? How the fuck do I do this? I fuck this yeah. Jones, Sorry. Sponge boy. Yeah. yeah. All right, motherfuckers. Me, I didn't have uh, any topic things in the brain. I kind of, I was kind of leading in a direction. I liked the little little one piece thing. It's kind of actually what I was thinking about beforehand, but I didn't, didn't come with anything else in the back pockets. Start me off with something. Tell me a little bit of what's been going on in the fucking in the lives recently, dude. Any fucking weird shit? Any cool shit? Any, no, nothing. Just uh, just been working. Just playing some games, chilling. Not much to do in this uh. What was that, Jeb? Working. <laughs> <laughs> working or uh, working or hardly working? <laughs> Which one is it? Like? Yeah, you came off of uh, some sick days. Actually, it's true that you weren't even doing any of that. What happened in the end? Would you? Uh, what they? What they fucking diagnose you with? Some new disease never before? No, I was just, I was just, I was just sick. I had bronchitis for a week, and then after I, uh, I was late to one shift because I missed my alarm, and uh, they just, they wanted to punish me, and they wanted to like take away a. Uh, like work days and stuff but then like two days later as like the boss spoke to me it was a two minute conversation i it, i thought i was gonna get my asshole ripped that wasn't even that it was literally like hey, oh, hey what's up no no big deal okay cool you're back to work and now i'm working again <laughs> so i don't know Dude, they can't they can't run that place without you i guess right no, no they cannot they cannot wait i got a fart bro you don't you don't have the stuff and uh i'm not i'm not shit either so you're decent decent wor decent worker not enough stuff equals cannot fire don't fucking He's don't playing checkers. Yourself. I'm playing chess. Don't undersell yourself, dude. You keep that place running, right? You're an essential part of the fucking organization. 
what's uh, any fucking any wank any fucking wacky shit happened in that in that building in the last uh, last little bit you guys are all the uh, events these days completely normal or we just uh, we don't have much storytelling time for that fucking place anymore oh it's pretty tame and normal really? what happened they fucking Funny. they put something in the water down there dude people they're just not breeding fucking freaks in the oh, well, there's definitely something in the water that's for sure <laughs> Dude, I feel like it was like every other week there was a fucking near death kind of level catastrophe going on in that building. There was some, there were some things. Just the, 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 the criminals and the the people that didn't have passports left. That's <laughs> pretty much what. Yeah. <laughs> Like <laughs> summertime and then winter. Oh yeah, like true. Yeah, peak season kind of things. That makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're, we are. Right a bit now it's just dead. corporate. It's a so it's just like a bunch of corporate. Any fucking pyramid schemes come through there, dude? I remember. Oh, big time. Yeah. There's, uh, there's these people in one of the halls that like they sell these fucking rocks that you put in your water that's like supposed to like give you like uh, <laughs> regulate your energies and shit. Hell yeah! And I, I, I remember <laughs> one time I fucking. I remember one fucking time I brought water there. I'm just talking to one of my coworkers. I'm like, isn't this the scammers? And they just give me a dirty look. <laughs> <laughs> they pull gems out of but their like, pockets and put them in the rocks that you were saying? I don't know. They, they just have like the like our water jars that we give them. They fill it with like with rocks. Something like, well, and Chris is like, well, this is a healing power. He's like, go fuck yourself. Like, healing powers. Is, is, is what, you awesome. drink the rock or no? No, it's just like the fucking like the rock just stays in the water. You drink the water. Is it like, cold like, at least? Bitch, like, does it at least serve a purpose? Is it like an ice cube? Do they pop in the like, No, not like nothing, dude. I could literally go to the beach and get the rocks and put it in the fucking water. It looked like, like beach thing. rocks. I don't know. They're, they're smooth. They're polished. That's fucking strange. I was picturing like crystals, at least something with like that. Yeah, well, it's like some someone like there's a bit of crystal and there's like somewhere like smooth like smooth like rocks and shit. But it's like uh, it's like I don't know. Like uh, if you really think this is gonna heal you? You have you have bigger issues than I thought. I'm always fucking surprised by the number of uh, of things like that that actually go through that place. It's fucking wild. There's been stories about that shit for I don't know a single person that's ever been to one of these things or even that's heard about it or talked about it. But they happen there like every couple of weeks. These fucking these weird. Yeah. Well, well I've been there indirectly. I've like I managed to sit through a few permits. They games. never sold you on anything. There hasn't been a single one that you're like, you know what? Maybe a fucking. Well, actually, well, one one guy gave me his card for investing. Oh, Max and he's like, you are, you, are you interested? I'm like, nah, no, thank you. And he's like, are you sure, man? I'm like, yeah, he's like, okay, let me give you my card just in case. I'm like, yeah, no problem. He's looking at me and I threw it in the garbage and I walked away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a, oh, what the fuck? We got a love gun on shift popping in, dude. Like, oh, I told him, like, no, like, three times and he kept coming back to me. So I'm like, you know what, buddy? I'm going to throw your card away. <laughs> and uh, that, that's that's what you can do with your uh, with your paper trail. What was the investment then? A land nothing he's just like if you need to invest you know he's like i can make a lot of money and he's like some like random black dude i'm like okay dude uh, cool but like i'm not interested he's like you sure man he's like what's your name you know and i give him my name he's like oh mine too and i'm like okay <laughs> cool he's like yeah you should want my car I'm like yeah he's like okay His take my card that's fucking weird dude yeah and then yeah. then i'm like nah nah i'm like it's good it's good i'm like thank you i appreciate it though you know you didn't even uh, then like i then i walked away and like two minutes later he comes back and he's like you should want my car i'm like you know what i'll take it and i just threw it in the garbage in front of him and i walked away <laughs> you didn't even ask what the business proposition was no, he's just like, I'm an investor. He's like, give me money and I can make you money. I invest in things. I'm like, I don't know what that means. He invests anything. He just knows it all, dude. He's a fucking genius. He's yeah, but what does that mean? Give me my money. I'm just going to invest it for you. Like, what the, like fuck that? Yeah. I don't know you. Was he tell was he, did he start off with mutual self-investment? No, he didn't just said I'm an investor. He's like, if you want the guy, you can partner with me. Give me give me your money and uh, I can invest. You know, I, I, uh, I'm really good and stuff. And I was like, who the fuck are you guys? Yeah, like I'm a random guy like at a fucking event. I'm at the palace just asking random people that are working. It's like, motherfucker, I'm rolling tables and chairs. Get the fuck out of here with your investments, bro. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, are you tired of here. rolling tables? Are you tired of working here? Yeah, dude, yeah, you could be in one of his commercials. You could have been a success story, dude. You could have jump started the business. <laughs> it's what that's what they would have put on the on the posters, just pictures of your face saying, dude, I made it, dude. I fucking made it. Me and success stories don't go well together. <laughs> it's not a talk it's not a match. Me. How's the video game going along with the other boys? Are we allowed to talk about that? Is that fucking illegal? Yeah, I don't care. Uh, I don't know. It's not really my project anyways. I'm just there like helping out like here and there. That's, is that a success uh, it's, 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 it's coming along with uh, nice, good uh, like, the... The thing is like the, in terms of like how far it's getting, it's like not as fast as it should be. It's getting a little progress. But the good thing is though, like his intern program is actually landing interns other jobs at like... Hmm. Uh, companies for game art design, video game design. So and, uh, his internship program is legit working, though. So like that, that's that's a plus. You know, he's helping other people, people helping people. When is he going to sponsor but, the like, show? Is is the real? Is that's the real question? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Uh, we getting a maybe maybe twenty twenty six. Who fucking knows? Six, dude. I don't know, dude. I, that uh, I cannot. Uh, Right, right. Listen, we need we need some I got you guys some new microphones. This isn't coming out of my fucking pocket, dude. We gotta get we gotta get your fucking pirate friends 
just uh, sponsor the show. Give us a couple hundred bucks. That way, you guys, next time you do a cooperative episode, you're not fucking spitting into the same headset. You, everybody gets their own setups. Get a little mouse and keyboard kind well, of thing. Well, that's because that's the mouse at the All in the Winds place. I know. That's what I'm saying, dude. But this it, was was a, it, was a, it was a co-op. Yeah, we, get up, we get up the fucking production value of this thing. <laughs> Many octaves. Ooh. Mr. Uh, Mr. Crusader over there, dude. Hello? Yeah. How are you doing today? Good. You don't sound too good, dude. Tell, talk to me about it. How are you doing? No, I'm okay. Listen, paying attention, learning. What's uh? What's, to what's on the What's on the fucking brain, dude? What's on the out, right before you open the fucking machine here? What was the last thought that popped into popped into that fucking noggin of yours? Was it just like, God dang, I'm hungry? Was it like that? That was a. No, I'm just playing some games I, and I, I got killed. Cramped. and I Fuck this! Oh, oh yes. Last time we were in here, you were talking about studying languages. Was that a thing? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Uh, Did you come up with a new one for us yet or no? Um, that's going to take some time. <laughs> still, you're still working on the kings? I'm still working on the kings. I'm, I'm just working on the swear words. So. Is there going to be is going to be a spit kind of language? If I know you, there's going to be there's going to be a lot of spit words. Is that... Am I in the right well, that's pretty much it. It's just, it's just spit in other people's mouth. It's, it's where the spit <laughs> lands, uh, where the spit lands on the tongue and like the cheeks and the inner cheek. That's like the words. Oh, it's like like the echo location kind of stuff. It's one of those like no bats. more. It's, it's more sensory. It's like if it hits the back of the tongue, I'm saying something. If it hits the tip of your tongue, it means something else. So conversation. Uh, and even the, like the viscosity of the spit, the the speed in which it hits your tongue, it it's 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 so complex. It's gonna take me some time. <laughs> Are there ever any other tools used in the making? Could I? Is there like a spit in a cup? Spit in like a like a ear? Or it's just it's, it's mouth well, to mouth exclusively transferred? Yeah, it's it's oral. Um, exclusively. Exclusively, because it's 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 you need it's, it, the tongue is super you sensitive. Like, it's the I know, the I know that this is like this is probably a driving like a driving force in this project of yours, but I really I really like this. And I want to make sure the people listening know this is it's it's beautifully inclusive as a language type. You know what I mean? So there's a deaf person that you got to come up with a with a tap system. There's a deaf. There's a mute. You know. There's the ASL sign language Braille. Uh, this sounds like. You might be like breaching new ground, dude. This might be a thing that actually is for everybody, unless unless you're like. I mouthless. believe that, like, oh, wow. I I would like to push the next the boundaries of human evolution. <laughs> I think verbal communication is very passe, very uh, <laughs> last you know century. I'm yeah. I'm trying to move on to the next thing. How do we take and this into the sense. digital age? How do how do I talk to you over this in this in this style? I have to have like a mouth receptacle planted on top of the mic. <laughs> Oh no no! But that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like the the, the digital age, I think is already passe. It's it's the it's the past oh. for me. I, I'm I'm moving on to the next form of human evolution. Oh, so we're so we're going back. We're scrapping it. We're shutting down the internet. We're EMP. We're fucking nuking the internet, and we're going back. This is the next step. It's something to do with. Well, it, it's, well no no. I mean I mean I, to be realistic, it's not going to change. In, you know, in a matter of days, it's just that when once we start colonizing, you know, the stars and whatever, and we're moving on, this then is the spit, language that they're gonna language. be adopting. Okay, it's like it's it. fast, it's simple. I can tell you a whole story <laughs> with with the right spit. You just hawk a fucking large loogie, dude, and it's yeah. your life story. Hell yeah. Telling the story of like the Iliad and shit in class, <laughs> which is my teacher that goes around spitting like a fucking bird, feeding its children like that. It's it's so simple. <laughs> What do you what do you visualize the other aspects of this culture? What do they what do they look like to you? What are, what's the landscape? What's the architecture? The landscape, dude. What are we What are we gonna be living in? We're gonna be living in oval homes. We're gonna be uh, is everything on wheels? Do we? Do we walk I think on our we're hands? gonna be going back into the womb in a sense. I think we're gonna go <laughs> back into the, like in a sort of like sack placenta sack. I think that's how we could regenerate. We could get our nutrients all inside of a sack. <laughs> The spit language and the sack people, that's the future according to the, according to our boy dude. That's that's where we're at. That's I think that's next up. I hook you up with all you can do a premium scheme about it. What? Say it again one more time. Said so I hook you up with a hole and you can do a pyramid scheme about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's true, easy. Dude. You start building the church, you start building the fucking religion from today, actually. It, you sold the seeds. I'm in. Listen, for what it's worth, I'm in, and I'm I'm ready to sponsor you. You sponsor me. I sponsor you. We have a mutual agreed upon sponsorship situation, where uh, I'll do my podcast in your fucking spit language, and you'll 
you know, you just you buy me snacks or something. Just keep keep the show on the road because I'm not. I'm I, would, I, I would like a preview anymore. of this bit language though. I'd really like a preview. Do you want a purse? I've, I've only yeah, I've only like gotten the the letters. Like a primitive in, preview. I don't have yeah. like an actual build up of the language yet itself. Like, so a, the letters. like a personal preview, like in the. Of course, that, that, that's the whole point. I go around town and I, 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 I spread the message of this new language. No one's taking it, like, well so far. I haven't actually gotten in trouble. Uh, like, a fucking, uh, like a drool. <laughs> kind of. you're, just not, you're just knocking on yeah. doors. You open your book and it's just drool. It's just, just fucking leaking fucking drool. Oh, God. Oh, I don't want to Oh, whatever. They're, they're not used to it yet, but there's gonna, it's going to take time. It's gonna catch on. It's gonna catch on. You know, new things take time. I think it has to. I think it, it's the next step. In new it has to catch it's, on, dude. I'm I'm with you. And listen, this is where I'm with you. In so far as I do think we need a fucking shift of the paradigm, dude. That I'm with you. You already see it with the with the Andrew Tatees coming up and the motherfucking uh, Jordan Petersons. People are looking for the new philosophy, dude. And in a lot of ways these new philosophers are just regurgitating a lot of the old so your your new culture actually is literal regurgitation in a movement of, into the future dude when you think about it when you think yeah. about it actually like a fucking poet dude it it's beautiful it's actually beautiful i fucking believe i fucking believe dude that's how you have to mark i'll sell it for you i'm i'm telling you i, I will market this for you i got you on this trust me I, I think I feel like I see a vision that might even have passed the vision that like, I don't want to fucking listen. I don't want a student of student surpass the master on you already kind of thing. But I feel like I see this. I see the next four or five steps, maybe six. Well, what is it? What, 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 like what? And that we're going to talk about that. I mean, once there's a settlement in terms of cash percentages, then we'll fucking figure it out. I can't just go we'll saying that for we have millions of people listening to this. There's going to be it's going to be stolen for podcast sake. Maybe you want to talk about it. Yeah, it's going to be stolen, repurposed. It's going to be turned into a uh, turn into some other fucking shit. Who knows? AI chat GPT is yeah. involved. What are you well, that's do? why I don't want anyone bastardizing the language. You're right, I guess. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> Cocksuckers. I don't want oh, to like are, burps? are there burps allowed or no? Yeah. Is there a burp spit combination? <laughs> burp spit combination or not? That could be another language, maybe like a, an accent or something. <laughs> well, burps, maybe. I don't know. Sick. Hell yeah. Again, again, it's sensory. That that's how the languages will be spoken. <clears throat> it's well, like uh, it. feelings. I like it. I like the direction of it. I like the feel of it. I feel like it's uh, they're tap tapping into something right, fucking right, real right. and human. <clears throat> something for a lost a lost language, lost language. The lost dude. This this is what the Atlanteans fucking spoke before they were taken down. This is what got them killed, dude. This is what fucking. Took them into the oceans. At least higher thinking, you yeah. know. They just dude, they thought the brains were too goddamn big. The rest of the world wasn't ready for it. That's what happened. Like they they always said that Atlantis was like drowned out by the sea. It was actually drowned out by all their spit. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, yeah. You know what? The more, the more, the more you talk about it, the more I think we might be onto something, dude. Maybe we might have to put that in the back pocket though until the fucking. Uh, until the until the money settlements around it are done, until we got our deals with the history channels and the fucking uh, comic book series and stuff, or whatever whatever you need to do to make a make a thing these days, and then you get that shit going and bing bang. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bang, bada bitch. <laughs> Speaking of fucking bitches, I love gun was in here a second ago. He disappeared, dude. Fucking, uh, did you guys see that? He popped in for like a one millisecond, and he got the hell out of here. It's probably at work though. Probably just tuned in, and then he came right into some yelling and laughing, and he had to fucking dip because people heard it in the area and they thought there was a fucking ghost haunting the building. <clears throat> oh yeah, oh, yeah, Geb, dude, it's a Geb turn. Geb, I'm calling on you, dude. Your hand okay. raised. I came. I saw it. I noticed it. I conquered. I ignored for a sec, but now I'm back. How are you doing today? <clears throat> uh, pretty good. Hell yeah. Was the was the highlight, dude? What was the thing? What was the thing that really opened your fucking eyeballs to the to the glory of the day, kind of thing? What was the what was the what fucking dilated those pupils of yours? Just, Out of my just, day, was just I got sent. Huh? I got sent home early. <laughs> <laughs> you caused problems or what, dude? What the fuck happened? Are you fights, man? No, because I had raid yesterday. Yeah, and that work. Yeah. So I worked afternoons. I finished at six, then I'd raid until eleven. Yeah. 
finished that, stayed up to like one, then I had, then they asked me to work at five a.m. <sighs> yeah. So I barely slept, and I showed up. We did like the major part of the work, and then uh, they sent me home. Now they're like, "Hey, okay, I'm in the same boat as you. <clears throat> I work at five a.m." Done enough, dude. You've done enough. They fucking gave you the. Yeah. That's true. That's cool. Yeah, dude, you fucking some days, dude. Some days, the full day just uh, just is not necessary. No, he got a full day. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, oh. I, got what is I punched him out. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Got finished. laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I punched him out. People That's helping sick. people, man. The strength. <laughs> a man of the community, yeah. really. A fucking, just a good Samaritan or anything about it. <laughs> dude, fuck the system, actually. Yeah, fuck those cocksuckers. You don't owe them nothing, dude. You give them fucking blood, sweat, and tears, dude. You don't got to give them every hour that you fucking tell them you give them. Me, I'm a general general philosophy in the world, dude. I think honesty a very important thing. You know, you try to you try to talk straight to me. Listen, people. my philosophy is give less, take more. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> That's kind of scum. <laughs> That's kind of <laughs> monk guys. That's how you fuck the team, dude. That's fuck the team talking right there. Listen, no, this is trust me. I'm, the team's fucked me more than enough times. Oh no, no. Yeah, yeah. So, They've ran a train on me plenty of times. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You get knocked down and then you get up again. What's that song? You know the one singing to me. I get knocked down. I get knocked down, but I get up again. <laughs> Never gonna keep me down. What the fuck is that song, dude? What's it called? You say Beyblade, uh -huh. dude? What the fuck are you talking about? That's the Beyblade theme. The no shot. Is it? Yeah, no engine. way. No. Stop it. No, no, no. There's no <laughs> what fucking are way, dude. What talking about? You think you're Bakugan? Balls against the wall. <laughs> 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 that's not the way, is it? That's what the, that's the, that's the Bakugan one? To the band that okay. sings I Get Knocked Down is called though. Chumba Wumba, dude. That's kind of sick. Who wants collide on the inside? <laughs> no, no, wrong side. Yeah, you gotta fight for what's right. This, 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 Bakugan. <laughs> <laughs> No, Bakugan it, had like like their testicles or something. They were yeah, I don't know what the fuck that ever was. That that was already. <laughs> oh, man. I had uh yeah, I swear in the intro I heard balls against the wall, the I was just stacked against you, you know. It's like what the fuck? I, I don't know, man. The band that's I always thought they were like little eunuchs and they had like <laughs> in their bags little balls and they're just tossing them. Go to general chat right now. This is fucking this is the CGI IRL version. This is the, the Imagine the guy movie. from Game of Thrones is like one of the characters in there, no? Yeah, he's, he's the last like guy they have to fight, he's a champion. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that show was. That was uh I was already <laughs> I was too fucking. Yeah, you know, they made so many. They made like four game. seasons of that crap. I never watched a single one, but they just kept seeing new things that I put new characters. It was like Beyblade 2.0, but like stupider. Me, uh, my youth in terms of like that weird shit was uh, we had the Digimon, Pokemon phases, the Yu Gi Oh, and then that kind of cut it after that. Fucking, uh, even Beyblade, dude. I, I played with the toy a little. They banned them at my fucking school when I was a kid, so I couldn't really play with them much. There was this dude. Because yeah, people bring the dollar store version that were fucking actually weapons. No, yeah, no. Yeah. There was a guy. There was a, a dude. He he broke out the the bottom part. You know how like um, you could take it apart and you could fuck with it. He he like had he put a weight. He uh he had a heavier weight for like the metal plate in it. He put like a like a like a custom fucking metal plate and he broke out the bottom part where it's just a little uh smooth metal surface and he put a fucking screw or like a nail. And he fucking he, they'd rip it and he it was just destroying fucking kids. It like tore into a kid's shoe or something and fucking cut his foot. And he was bleeding. He had to go to the office or whatever. And they're like, "This is not you get you guys can't do this shit anymore." And they fucking banned it from the school. They didn't allow us to play with it anymore. Once they found out you could kind of tinker with it and turn it into a fucking uh, a little death machine, they uh, they didn't want to take the risk with uh, with our. Like innocence. Like they put enough to put like razor blades on the outside. Yeah, that guy ruined uh, everyone's fun. Yeah, he did. He fucked. Uh, yeah, I that's mean, that's he, the, that's a fuck with the end up situation. He, he pushed, dude. He pushed the limit. He tested it. How's the song go? He got knocked down. No, it was the his balls were against the wall kind of thing. That's what it was. His balls were against the fucking wall, dude. You had to win. You had to clinch out a W somehow. And uh, yeah, he fucking maneuvered his machine, turned it into a weapon, tore a kid's shoe up, and like hurt him a little bit. I think is what it was. And then donezo no more play with those fucking toys yeah but how fucking sharp does it have to be to tear through a shoe man it's a fucking beyblade it spins a little kick in he put a yeah but a little kick in that it. yeah but a little kick in that thing's like off balance and it falls over like it was one of those chinese ones the or like the fake ones they had or the fucking giant metal discs that's that what i mean put, like, he, yeah, four he had, on top of them the thing he, weighed like four pounds yeah he had a heavier sense. weight and the bottom i'm talking the bottom you know when it lands and then it spins it's spinning on usually just the smooth like a little metal nub he broke that out and he put a screw in it, so it was pointy at the bottom. That's what cut. 
it was it lands spinning and it was zzzz, like that it wasn't cutting sideways it was cutting because from they just landed spinning and it kind of made a hole Jesus. yeah it was cool it's fucking cool shit little fucking terrorists hell yeah what kind of fucking kids what kind of kids were you guys in the in the, in the elementary school days we didn't hang out we weren't uh we weren't npc <laughs> what, does <that> mean? <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> But NPC. You were just giving quests. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that? <laughs> you were just standing in a corner. Oh, I, was, I was like a, I was like a Marcus grand theft auto fucking pedestrian. Dude. People were bumping into you, and you're starting fights with them. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, no, like he was just passing through. I guess. Just passing through. Did you have a walk animation? Do you remember your old walk animation? Can you still tap into that fucking those files or not? Walk animation. Huh? Uh, I don't know. It's just like fucking. Weird. It's weird. Uh, I don't know what to make of that, dude. I don't. I don't know. What to, I don't know what to make of that information. It's fucking uh, just NPC normal default. Like, what'd you do? What'd you do at lunch? Uh, just played soccer. I guess. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. See, there we go. That's a that's a fucking that's a personality trait. Yeah, that was not. Sure, you it's were like a poker. soccer dude. Actually, you were a fucking. Were poker. you ever a soccer dude that called it football, or were you always a soccer dude? Did you ever become a footballer? Uh, Nah. Hell yeah, good. Staying true to the football fucking... Football was always just... Football was real football. Right? Exactly. Yeah. There's, there's no North American that called it football ever. I, as someone, even myself, who's like, it's his favorite sport, whatever, it, it, I, you always called it soccer. Yeah, you can't do it. It's just... No like, one fucking calls it football here. Yeah. Because we have... There's already a king. There's already a thing that holds that fucking crown, dude. You can't go can't go saying that shit. I have... I feel like I've heard it here and there, but it's it's trade it's traitor fucking talk, dude. Turn, turn cloak kind of talk. People trying to, to to pass the the fact that they you know pass it off like they've always said it or the, you know oh, fuck them they're liars they're, they're fucking Europeans one hundo dude yeah. like in that scene of uh, of <laughs> like Glorious Bastards when like the the German like he found out the guy was faking because he did the, the fucking the wrong hand oh, yeah, movement the fingers there, yeah the counting yeah it's like that you catch people like that you you yeah. don't catch them if they say football and shit and you just hang them yeah you treat them the same way exactly you yeah. fucking you deal with them in the same manner. Fuck those motherfuckers. Oh, you European. Huh? Oh, hmm. Ooh, what about you, uh, Mister Yo, Mister Crusader? What was your uh, What was your back in the day uh, temperament, dude? What kind of What kind of games were you playing? Were you always a good lad? Kind of, it was. Did you have like a you had a rebellious phase? You had a point with the with the. Uh, I was like pretty much the same person. I didn't really change as a human being. No, like emo kind of funny. eyeliner and the fucking leather oh. and shit at a point. Just spit in people's mouths trying to talk to them. No, uh, <laughs> yeah. I was the same. Trying to make people laugh and fucking goofy kid and dude, yeah, if so. you, I'm just I, the visual of you in an emo phase is just in my head right now, and it's just it's clarifying. It's like a fucking like a file loading. It's beautiful. I think it might have been the black lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> dude, Shit. If, if you've at all been considering a fucking style switch up, uh, let me tell you, you you could pull it off. I think I could see it. I can see it. Fucking ugly. No, what are you talking uh, about? You're beautiful. Instead of the chain around the fucking, like, the jeans is around my neck and shit. Hell yeah. Yeah, you could, you could pull off fucking some chains and shit. Could be That'd sick. Be fucking awesome. Could be fucking sick. You ever you ever want to just uh just go fucking disappear, dude, into the wilderness where nobody knows your name and just be a whole new person kind of thing? Emo, emo I, I fucking crusader? Always, no, not emo. So, But I wanted to always have that fucking wilderness life. Like those fucking like people that just go in the in the woods and just live their life off squirrels and shit. I just I've always wanted that as a kid, so badly. I still do. Like just throw away modernity and and civilization and just go into the woods. You build your tree house. Fuck off. Oh yeah, totally. Just go off the grid. I've always wanted to do that. It's sick. Do you do you feel like you get much of that casually? Do you do? I don't think do you do much like a hiking and shit like that or not? Yeah, you you, you dip uh, your toes. I, I I did hiking uh, last like th three years, a lot of it oh, during nice. the COVID and shit. Uh, plus the hunting and stuff like that. I, I'm like I'm like a true. city person, but that, that feels comfortable in the woods. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I forgot yeah, that there was I've a whole uh, hunting fucking lore too. That's like a once a year fam family ordeal, I think it was, or what? How does that play out? Yeah, when my I used to go, my uncle passed away. Uh, I haven't gone as much after that, but. Uh, uh, yeah, no, it would be like all the time. Like uh, every few months, I'd go for a different fucking animal or person, whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, we got a love good in the chat, dude. Listen for a little blick. Some motherfucker, how are you doing? Number one fan. I didn't tell you guys. Love good. He won a. 
he won we had a we had a fan contest last episode we had a right it was a pregame as after hours edition episode we had a contest for uh one fan to come on over to the dong uh, Doncast uh, studios and this guy won this is the jam give him a round of applause you get, get a little claps yeah, that, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was the saddest <laughs> <laughs> Leave me a little time. That was the best clap you're gonna get out of me. Dude, two, three people didn't even clap. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, woo. Okay, anyways, he won. Dude, he won the contest. We got a golden ticket kind of thing. It's uh basically the way it worked is like in the in the I went back and I edited the old audio file and then I slipped in like a little whisper, like a little message that only meant something to one person. And if you caught it, then then you fucking then you get the ticket. So he got the ticket. So he's gonna. We're gonna we're gonna fly him out to uh, L.A. where this is filmed. I we've been talking about like this happens in Canada, but that's a fucking lie. We're in fucking Los Angeles with the stars. We're in the Hollywood Hills. We're gonna fly him out here. He's gonna sit on my couch. I'll make him a little sandwich, and I'll watch. He's gonna watch episode live, dude. Crate is fucking. It's insane. What are you, Jeffy Dahmer? Gonna kill him and eat him after? <laughs> Shut the fuck so up. Scary. Yeah, no, it's, dude. It's cool. It's sick. It's awesome. Thanks, uh, thanks to Jonesing, the one guy that clapped, dude. You're fucking, you're keeping the show alive, dude. You're keeping the fucking spirit of Christmas going. <laughs> <laughs> if you were, a, if you were a priest, would you diddle kids or would you just like go? No, I wouldn't do it. Uh, is a, uh, is an honest question. Yeah, no, like you're a priest and it's like yeah. a Catholic priest and like your your buddies around you are, are like touching oh, kids. Doing it, are, you, are you touching a kid too because you're a priest or you're just going to be like, ah, I shouldn't do it? I'm just going just going with the flow kind of thing. You're just doing it because all the cool kids are doing it. I mean, I've always oh. felt I was always like an against against the grain kind of gentleman, you know what I mean? In a lot of ways. Me, I like, uh, me, I fucking, I forged my own path. So no, I would have. Yeah, little girls and start little boys. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Dude, fuck all that noise though. Fuck those fucking weirdos. Fuck all that shit. Fucking degeneracy, dude. That's what dude, the Greek, the Greek, the 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 the, the priests of the fucking Hellenic style. Those guys, they could just have entire they could just have families. They could just chill. They don't even get into I any fucking, fucking weird retarded, shit. It's that cel celibacy shit. It's so stupid. Fucking all the shit. other priests in the same goddamn religion all have wives and yeah, girlfriends. They're just chilling. Shit. They're fucking chilling. They're getting laid all kinds, dude. They're having a good ass time. Oh, but there's such Puritans, the fucking Catholics. It's disgusting. Yeah, they got problems. Dude, that's what. That's where a lot of yeah, dude. Too much uh, imposed restraints, dude. That the, the the lash out, the lash out into fucking yeah, uh, the generous. That's what they call nice people, and they fucking fuck everything up. Yeah, because they're so pent up with cum. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even masturbate. And it's sin. It's all that. It's so stupid. True, a real hardcore motherfucker. Yeah, they couldn't even. Uh, they couldn't even enjoy that that simple pleasure of life either. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, What's the consequence? Ashes in your butter, man. What? Because you know the butter's too good, and the bread is sinful, so you got to add ashes. Oh, bro. What? That's a thing people do. What are you talking? Is that what the fuck is that? Yeah, that's that's what monks do, man. They eat ash with their food, so it doesn't taste good. Yeah, they mix it with the butter. What? Oh my god. That's insane. It was, sinful, it was too sinful to eat it. But back in like, uh, you know, is this confirmed? Like uh, 18th century. Oh, I'd rather diddle a kid. <laughs> what? Insane. Could you imagine? That's true, anymore, actually, dude. That makes sense because gluttony and whatever is one of the carnal, yeah. deadly fucking sins. So if you're that sick in that fucking world, you purposely make everything you eat taste like fucking ass so you don't even feel that kind of pleasure. That's fucking wild, actually. Yep. Jesus. Sorry for using a fucking... Wait up. I got a fart coming. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's oh, fucked up, dude. That is actually fucked. I wonder... Dude, when I think of, like, monks... Monk, if I... The second I picture, like, a Western monk, like a, like a British guy, like, oh, sir, like, bring out your dead kind of fucking guy, you know, with his, with his brown kind of tattered fucking cloths and ropes. Oh, yeah. I hate all of it. I think it's gross. It's so fucking lame. When I think Eastern monk, dude... Some Shaolin type shit, like a guy on a fucking in a hill somewhere with water buckets. Cool as fuck. Actually, just awesome. How did that? How did how did we fuck up so bad? How did the how did this side of the fucking earth just get the monk shit so wrong and lame, dude? It's not as old. All that Eastern oh. monk shit is like thousand. They had. I think probably went through that shit too. But, and, but they 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 changed it up after like six thousand years. I think the philosophy and the religion around it was just kind of cooler in their way. Like the, like being hardcore. 
for the religion in the place where it's like i'm reincarnated as a bug like that you're just kind of cooler by default than fucking being crazy on this end you know what i mean i think it's a bit of that too there's no deity in their religion it's not it's not like there isn't someone to worship or whatever exactly, it's yeah. just it's, it's, you have to it's it's to better yourself as a person that's yeah, the whole and, point and the punishment it's not so much like he's all like he knows when you're sleeping he knows when you're awake like you better fucking you better tell me all your secrets in this little fucking closet oh, he knows. Either, you know? oh he fucking knows yeah yeah it is yeah i guess it's it's like the the foundational principles of the fucking uh religions and stuff and the philosophy around it they just kind of they just had cooler stuff they had cool things that could you just if you go out into the hills and you fully devote yourself to that style of living you could just be like in a kung fu movie and you kind of fucking rock and on our end you're just in the fucking western world dude the the monk archetype prototype is just a guy that fucking touches kids and wears fucking brown a lot like what the fuck is that <laughs> so fucking lame Fucking no, disgusting. the monk maybe not. Like the priest, the father, yes, but the monk maybe less. You know. Yeah, probably not. They're not the even allowed. Like, the monks are like uh, they're, they're pretty fucking strict. You know. Yeah. The monks are just trying to like fucking speed up the process of becoming the priest so they could just did all the kids. <laughs> still have it in them. They want to do it. <laughs> they're just waiting okay. for the right fucking. Because like, the thing is, is in that time there's monasteries that are just in the middle of fucking nowhere because they're living in isolation in the middle of fucking yeah. nowhere. You know. Bro, I had burritos. I've been lacing farts this whole fucking. Sorry, just to fill you guys in. That's what the that's what the context of this is. Burrito. You don't have to tell us. I just want to let you. Know, the mic's you the mic's gonna. <laughs> I like how we're, uh, we're talking about monks, and we have a potential sinful monk coming. Oh, true, <laughs> dude. What happened? To, yeah, it's true. He's getting home from like a class or something. And yeah, and his name in here is sinful monk. Actually, dude, that is a bit of a Mandela, a little bit of a fucking Mandela effect right there. Oh yeah, true, 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 true. I remember, true. I remember reading about this this one Greek monk, um, that he was dropped off at a monastery. Uh, that the rule was that no women could ever come near it, and this was like a, a a rule that was set hundreds of years ago, like in the eighth, like in the seventh century or some shit like that, super long time ago. And he, him, this kid, this guy was dropped off as a child in like eighteen hundreds or something. So already, like this this monastery has they haven't like spoken to women in like a thousand years so he grew up his entire life not seeing a woman and i think the kick at the end was that he finally saw one and didn't understand what he was looking at and the end of his life near the end he was like old and dying and he saw a woman finally for the first time and he just didn't understand what he was looking at because he had been with men his entire life what the fuck yeah. I just looked up Greek monk no woman story and I found a picture of a guy. Monk dies in Greece without seeing woman, without ever seeing a woman in the 82 years of his life. Michalo Toko, I can't really read the words too good, whatever, uh, has died in Mount Athos Monastery. Neither, he hadn't seen a movie or a car. His mother died when he was born and he was just yeah raised by the monks. Dude. He never even saw a lady. That's crazy. Solid. Okay, I thought he saw a woman at the end. I didn't see one. What the fuck? Uh, it might be another story too, but who knows? This is just the one that came up when I typed in those keywords. Yeah. Either way, though, yeah, it's kind of wild. That's crazy. How the fuck? Yeah, I guess, dude, you're a fucking orphan that birthed. It's like, well, somebody's got it. Somebody's gonna take him. The church takes him. It's better. I mean, better than just like tossing him off or tossing him off a rock, like the good old, like the good old Greek days, you know? When they're just like, fuck this nerd. No, I mean, he had a life, I guess, yeah. Uh, he, got the, he got the live experience. He got to be famous, dude. He died famous. He made it in the newspaper. Didn't even, you know, didn't know that he did. But he did. I'd rather see a woman and not die famous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It's kind of fucking lame. I'm just, I'm just trying to be up on the positive side, dude. Maybe that's a nice... Maybe that's a nice thing. Maybe the real afterlife. Maybe the real afterlife rules is uh, how popular were you in life. And that that's what dictates, like, how cool your heaven is, dude. And maybe since since he clinched it in the last second, you know, he was they were at the one yard line, what fucking one second on the clock type shit, and he fucking he got into the newspaper when he died. They're like that that counts, dude. You're fucking, you're you're pretty sick, and he gets a top tier heaven treatment. Yeah, but then all the fucking shitty people of the world would be there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, maybe that's maybe those are the rules. Who's to say that's Hitler's, not the rules? Hitler's in heaven. Yeah, dude. Who's to say those aren't the rules of the game? Maybe you just maybe. Maybe just being super popular and cool, that's what that's what godliness really is, dude. God really is the it's the most popular concept when you think about it. When you yeah. really when you really think about it, it is the most popular idea. Why can't that why why wouldn't he want us to play by his rules of just like being popular? 
just spreading the word of ourselves, being our own religions, it'd be in our own little Bibles and spreading the words of ourselves. And maybe that's what godliness is, just being a fucking, just uh, indulging in uh, in that kind of behavior. What do you think about that? It's one? how the divine Buddha got to the same level, you know? Is it? That's what he did? Well, because the, the urging is just a person, you know? True. Yeah, he, yeah, he was, right? Didn't he meditate for like a thousand years under a waterfall or something? He's like, all right, I'm a fucking god now, I guess. Well, he just ascended to a higher state of human elevation and became a god. Yeah, it's easy. Anybody can do it. Literally, if that guy did mm -hmm. it, I can do it. Yeah. That's what this podcast is about. Okay, this is the point where I tell you guys, uh, for one, we're sponsored by uh, the the uh, Buddh Buddhist monasteries of North America, uh, as well as, uh, what else are we sponsored? Yeah, what are we sponsored by today? Chumba Wamba, the band? Uh, Come on, I don't dude. know. Come on, dude. Most Dude, you have one fucking job. You have one fucking job, dude. <laughs> Sponsored by World of Warcraft Dragonflight. Dragonflight, oh, yeah. yeah. All right, beautiful. So anyways, what I was saying was... I lost what I was saying. Fuck, I thought it was funny. I think I had a good... Did you choose to stay today? Oh. Huh? What did I say? Same. Something, 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 something. Something about the monks. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. What the fucking... Uh, the religion is that's that way that's what the point of the podcast is that, yes that's what it is we broke we cracked the code that godliness is just a is just being being cool so that's what we're, we're trying to con we're trying to crack the code of being super fucking cool in this show so that we could all ascend to godhood that's actually it's actually a deeply personal and spiritual fucking quest that's going on here of coolness so now that you guys know that i hope you take this shit a little bit more fucking seriously because we're we're trying to save your souls right now I don't want to be saved. All right, fuck you then. See if I give a shit. I can't wait to be damned. Damned. You're damned. a bit of a sinner, aren't you, bud? The biggest sinner. We already did a sinner kind of episode, actually. Let me actually. translate to Spanish for you. Hello? Tell me below what to translate. Oh, my God. We're going to translate fucking again. <laughs> you flirted <laughs> with the fucking AI dude? What's going on there, dude? Yeah, man, I'm trying to talk to it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. What was I going to write? Oh, my brain farted. Tell it to talk dirty to you. Tell it to fucking say something nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit the oh what else dude what other fucking ideas are rocking around in your fucking your brains boys what's uh what's your winter attire have you guys moved into the cold clothes yet like the real everyone everyone that lives out here has like four different fucking phases of jackets for the for the cold no i wear the same shit bro you just um, don't give a fuck Is i mean like all of like most of my life, like, I have a winter jacket, but usually I just wear, like, I would always wear just, like, my, like, a bit heavier than a spring jacket and just sweatpants and shoes. I never wear boots. I hate boots. I would never wear them in my life. You're still uh, Unless no I'm going boots. skiing or something. Yeah, dude, I, I have boots. I just don't like them. I never like the weight on my feet and stuff, so I just wear sneakers and shit. I'm even tonight, just, my even boots, tonight my when I'm shoveling, I have my fucking shoes on, bro. You saw my green shoe boots? Why don't you get yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're winter shoes. It's literally winter shoes. Yeah. I was no boots for a while. There was a point, especially like high school days. I thought it was lame. And also, I just didn't give a fuck. My feet were never really cold. I'm I'm, I'm just, I'm heated internally enough, I guess. I didn't give a fuck. Yeah, that's too, actually. My feet barely get cold. Yeah, but these days, though, these days are like a boot. These days are like a nice boot. I think it's good. If I'm going to go like tobogganing or like skiing or some shit, okay, yeah. But like, if it's just like going outside, <laughs> even if it's fucking... Slushy as shit or really cold, bro. Well, shoes all the way. Even if my feet get wet, that fuck it, bro. That feeling of wet feet, though. You, mm. I, I'm used to it from work, man. You know, many, you know, many times my feet have been wet and stuff. Uh, mm. It's all good, man. You're into that shit. They, actually, you know what I hate the most is sand in my feet. I hate I hate the feeling. I don't know why. Yeah, that well, could be. I fucking way. hate the feeling. I hate that feeling. Like, not in the shoes. Just like, I'm, I don't know. I just don't like That's it, the like feeling that irks me. But yeah. wet shoes, no big deal. I don't give a fuck. Really? That's crazy. Yeah. Bit. It's like psychotic. Barefoot yeah, on sand. Barefoot on sand. You don't like. You don't like just like. I, st I don't mind it, but it's like I, I just don't like it. like when it goes between your toes. Like the feeling. I don't know. I, I can't explain it. I just, I just, I just don't like it. I just don't like it. Really? I, I you know. Yeah. Like, let's say there's a sandy foot. Let's say your foot, your foot got the sandiness on it, and then you put a sandal on uh, the sandy foot. No, nah, I would lose my shit. That is, I'd lose my shit. Grinds a little. Like That's annoying. Yeah, I would, I would lose my shit. I would start pulling out my hair and stuff. Pubic <laughs> <laughs> So what's your ideal vacation location? Is like a like a forest? You're no sand because you don't want to be. Like, no, like I don't mind beaches and stuff. I just like not a big fan of the sand, but I love swimming. I love going in the ocean and shit. 
He wants wet feet. He wants a swamp. This guy. Oh, you're a swamp. Yeah. And uh, I'm not a big fan of tanning. I can't yeah. sit in the sun and just lie down and get nailed. So like, all right. If it's vacation near the beach, whatever. I'm usually in the water all day. Yeah, no, me too. Lying down so and that's tanning pretty is kind of whatever. I like. I'm, I'm not a fan of it. Water too. too. You tan natural in the water, anyways. You walk around, you get a little bit of that. It's not like a focus. That's true. Yeah. But it sounds like overall. You're not a fan of the you're not a fan of the warm the hot climate the sand I'm not or the I'm not a I don't do well with heat usually like so, if it's dry if it's dry no problem if it's humid though like our summers bro I'm I'm so, some fucking old dead walrus outside the <laughs> when you're when you're planning a when you're thinking vacation do you just go along to the nice nice the warm weather places just because that's where the friends want to go or do you ever like you're like I'm gonna do a fucking I'm gonna do a weird I'm gonna do a weird one I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna spice it up I'm gonna do my kind of vacation no I, I like vacation? the warm weather places it's just like <laughs> depends all warm like I said if it's like dry heat or humid oh, like humidity is what kills me the dry heat I don't care but it sounds like humidity like kills you. Yeah, when it's like really humid, like hot humid, that's when like I'm fucking I'm dying outside like a dog. Community. Uh, have you ever maybe Jones? Maybe you've never been in your natural habitat. Have you ever thought about that? Maybe maybe you've never actually. Maybe there's like a climate somewhere in the earth that you haven't experienced yet. That's actually honestly, exactly I, I like I like fall all. weather the best. It's not too cold, not too hot. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm, I'm perfect there. Give me a little sweater outside, bro. I can chill by a fire, no big deal. It's the best. Too hot, too cold. I like fall weather. Well, what if that's yeah, my that's my thing. Fall and spring. Yeah, spring too. Spring's nice. You ever thought about just uh, uprooting your entire life just based on how comfortable you are with the weather and just going somewhere somewhere else? No, nah, uh, no, not really. Too much of a pussy. I used to like, go, go off it alone, you know? Yeah, fuck that shit. Not have any friends, nothing. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, little, it's a little odd for it's me. A little it's a little scary, it's a little to be spooky. honest. Yeah, yeah, definitely spooky. You'll always have us, though. You'll always have the cast. Always 100%, always 100%. Song. What what's like a vacation spot that you kind of want to go to that you haven't gone to that like you're considering someday? In the uh, I've always wanted to go to Greece. You've never been to the motherland. <laughs> Let me tell you a couple spoilers. There's a lot of sand. <laughs> a, lot of, <laughs> a lot of sand and oh my sand and uh, rock out my there. shitty my shitty mic cut out. I've always wanted to go to Greece just yeah. to go there once because I haven't been. Yeah. Uh other than that, like I don't know. Honestly, like I don't really have a specific place as long as it's nice. And, like nice scenery, uh, good people around you. It's all that really matters. Like uh, I don't know, I'm not a big dude. I'm the, not really uh, picky. Let's go, let's go. Let's go to the swamps, dude. I think you. I think the swamp. I think I'm done. Let's let, let's shrek it up. I'm done. Let's go to the yeah, and the bayous of New Orleans. Yeah, Ooh, 100%. A I'm little done. Fucking Mar Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Yeah. Mardi Gras. Everyone, New Orleans with the, the beads. Like the what is it? Bourbon Street, the famous one. And then we the, we go on the right side. We were in the swamps. Oh yeah. We're still in the swamps. Let's go. Okay, how? When's when's Mardi Gras? That's uh mid March, Marchy Gras. What what is it? When does that happen? Mar Mardi means it's Tuesday because that's French. What month is it in? May, I think. May or March fifth or something. It's March fifth. No, it's Cinco de Mayo. Oh no, that's May fifth. It's one of those months. That's coming up. Day before Ash Wednesday, forty-seven days before Easter, two days after Shrove Sunday. What, Who, the, what the fuck? Does that mean? <laughs> what the fuck is that? What the fuck does that? Mean? <laughs> what is all that shit? Oh, oh, it's, oh, oh, it's coming up Ooh. this year. It's February twenty-first. Jon Zing. Oh, this is the time. Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras, and fucking in the bayous. Maybe I would be down. It'd be cool. Oh. Did you would fucking we'd lose you we'd lose you day one we'd find you fucking a week oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it'd be like uh was it like deer hunter when they when they lose uh christopher walken or whatever in the fucking yeah. <laughs> when we come back he's playing some chinese then playing <laughs> russian roulette <laughs> okay just put a tile on me you old nora oh shit fucking find him in a uh, fucking opium them <laughs> opium them shooting fucking <laughs> vietnamese dude. listen i'm not making any promises uh, shit. simple oh, magre fuck. hello oh Hello. Hello. Oh, what's up, man? Hello. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna work for me, man. I fucking I got buried in ten feet of snow outside. Fuck. Oh, geez. yeah, it's disgusting outside, dude. Bro, what the fuck, fuck man? Work tomorrow. Fuck. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Only rule of the show. Is the quick... I'm telling you, it's, it's only getting worse. The snow, man. I'm telling you. Quick heads up. Only rule of the show. We we only use the internet names out here. No, no fucking uh, government names. Just just in case people decide they want to be a bit more private and don't like uh, you don't like dox it. Don't fucking dox anything too hard. That's the only rules of the show. Welcome to the show, though. Simple monk with some other fucker. How are you doing? Today? Hey. Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah. This is a big stack today. Actually, this is probably the biggest. It's a big fucking big fucking gym jammer in here. Even got love gun live studio audience, dude. He fucking I can only communicate in emote reacts and shit, but it's lit. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking sick, dude. 
Oh, we were talking about uh, a moment ago, uh, c cl comfortable climate and weather and temperature. Jonesy was telling us how uh, he doesn't really like doesn't really like the hot shit too much. Doesn't like the fucking sandy beaches too much. Doesn't like the sunshine too much. Doesn't like any of that noise. We we're talking I about. I like water. I like swimming and shit. But yeah, sand. Dude, uh, what about bad. like uh, like uh, where's that I uh, Iceland? Gaped. You've been to fucking Iceland, no, or fucking Nor Norwegian land or something. Did they yeah, got Huh? Yeah, I've been to Iceland. They got like cool water options there too, right? But it's all like uh, like ice. Oh, oh them, yeah. No, th then they have the natural hot springs. There so, we go, dude. That's yeah, that's so what it's like. Uh, yeah, the, the the water is so warm and, and nice and hot and shit. But it's like uh, the, the the kick is that because they don't have um, they don't use uh, chlorine to clean the water, you have to clean yourself beforehand. So every, everyone goes into the same fucking. Well, all the men go in one like uh, change room, all the women in the other one. It's like unisex. No, no. You have to like shower, the you have to shower naked amongst strangers. So if you get that out of the way, uh, but why you... naked though? Wouldn't it be the same effect with your shorts on, like your swimming suits? You're like... supposed to clean everything. Oh, like cracks and crevices. And the best oh, and the yeah. craziest part is that there's, there's like big Icelandic dudes that sit there and watch you clean, so that <laughs> they, they you know that they know that you've you've done the job. So I remember Ooh, when I went yeah. cleaning myself, fucking covering my cock and shit, I turn around, I see this giant Thor looking motherfucker staring at me. <laughs> just watching me clean. Like, oh my god. Yeah, he's not watching you clean, bro. He's just fucking planning on raping you after. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a fucking it's a very honorable oh, part of their culture, dude. Yeah. Oh, I just least another fucking dude. Oh, that'd be like you can look but uh, you can you can't touch but you can low key. Dude, oh, he was gonna if touch you, all right. If you wanted to touch it, I couldn't fight back <laughs> <laughs> he should oh, just yeah. let it happen at that point. No, no, he was he was like Thor. He was Thor. Just close your eyes, let it happen. Say it was a woman. Yeah. So that's all going <laughs> yeah. But how do you know if you're like if you're clean? Why don't they spread your cheeks? No, his eyes were burning a fucking mark into my chest. Like he he was staring. How, how does he know? He was staring into me. He's like Heimdall, bro. He's like Heimdall. He's like the fucking yeah, watcher. They wanted, 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 wanted you to cross swords. Oh, defense. bro, he's the Asgard, bro. He's but it's it's so Asgard. <laughs> yeah. But, it, but it, it, it's it, whatever you get used to it after the first time. But it's amazing. The, the fucking hot springs are amazing. There we go, John. Other go. other options to do. We're fucking we're taking spring. the information that you gave in terms of your preferences, climate wise, and and enjoyment. Honestly, it sounds pretty good. I just gotta look get fucking need, start at naked like, by a dude and the off. Whatever. That's true. Yeah, that's I don't. I don't mind. No big deal. Like, but the weather was. Um, like, I went in December, so here <laughs> back home, people were freezing their fucking balls off. In Iceland, it was like seven degrees. It's warm in Iceland in December. Yeah, what the fuck because, is that? Because because they get warm weather, uh, warm weather. Obviously, they get warm uh, uh, water currents, Bro, so it keeps the, the weather warm. Every so time I look at it, pictures, it, it, it started to snow and it was melting in two seconds. That's fucking wicked, dude. Every time I look at pictures of this shit, it looks fucking surreal. Actually, it's crazy. Hey, I, I swear to God, I, I understand. When I went there, I understand why the people of that world created all those like fucking fairies and and nymphs yeah, and it, shit like that. It's an alien world. <laughs> There's, it's not. It doesn't look like anything you've ever seen before. They have black sand because of the volcano. The, the 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 grassland looks all like like an alien world. Like you've stepped on a different planet. It's such a strange place. And the geysers. I mean, it's one thing to see a video. When you see it in person in front of you, when you see water shoot out of the ground, for no fucking, like, you don't understand what the fuck is going on. I mean, we understand now, but imagine yeah. in the past. They didn't yeah, understand yeah. that shit. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. It's such it's an so amazing cool place. place actually. It's fucking wicked. This is and I got like to see a... the Aurora Borealis from the plane. Ooh. I, I, I tried on the ground. We, well, it was covered in clouds. We couldn't see it. You could just see a bit of green. But when we were coming in, it was just there. In this yeah. fucking sky, it was all green and blue. It was amazing. Did you take any pictures from like the windows? Did you have a window seat? We try. I remember trying it. It didn't, it didn't come out well. Yeah, so you, the looking out was perfect. That's wicked. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is a place I'd have to go again. What the fuck is the Aurora Borealis? Why does that happen? What the fuck is that shit again? It's the Northern Lights thing where they fucking go. Whoop. Yeah, but why though? Like, why the fuck does that happen in the Earth? What, like, what is That's that shit? Like the whole ozone and fucking shit like that. Oh, and, like, no. it's just, is it? Uh, it's China, bro. Oh, it's all oh, it's true. It's it, the ozone layer is like a, like makes like a crystal or something, you know, the crystal effect. Auroras are the result of disturbances in the magnetosphere. All right, we're our, I'm already lost, but we're chilling. Enhancements in the speed of the solar wind from coronal holes and coronal mat. Dude, there are holes. Yeah, this has to do with holes. You're right. 
a temporary region of relatively cool, less dense plasma in the solar corona. Okay. Yeah, it's between okay. the layers of the ozone and shit like that. What the fuck? So when the world ends, like when it's a billion years from now, when it's fucking Dunzo time and it's just everything's just crashing down on itself and the fucking the, the gases and the stars and the rocks are fucking colliding, that's what it's going to look like? It's going to be a sick light show at the top? That's kind of crazy. I don't think so because without that that happens because there's still a uh, an atmosphere and everything. Oh, but when yeah. when like the sun like burns everything, uh, no atmosphere just. But the last couple fire. days, dude, like the like the two or three days before, it's probably a light show. It's probably yeah, just the end there, like yeah, the last bit. That's pretty sick. That's kind of cool. Is it, is it the sun will burn the earth or the sun will implode? Uh, no, no, but I'm saying like when because the sun keeps growing and growing and growing. And then one day it's gonna be so big, yeah, it's gonna be so big. But yeah, before it implodes, it grows, uh, yeah. and it, it gets so big that our atmosphere will be incinerated. So then everything on all life on Earth will be burnt away. The planet's gonna be just a, a big like rock. No, yeah, no. Water. Water. Well, the sun is growing. You're saying that I'm supposed to believe yeah. this? Yeah, it's always growing. Before it implodes one day, it grows. That's how that's how the world, the planet will die one day. It'll be burnt by the sun. You're in science. <laughs> yeah, but that's like in like 200 billion years or something. Like that, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's so long. But the eventual fuck. What the fuck? I'm trying to log into chat GPT, dude. It's like that meme there with the kid, and he's like realizing when you're told uh, the earth will explode in 2 billion years, like 200 billion years, and he's like, oh my god. Yeah, dude, when the fucking when you're a kid, you hear that shit. You don't understand what fucking a billion is. It just sounds like all oh, eventually we're gonna die. Did you ever even like consider mortality as a kid? Like I remember when I, I was no. with my I was with my dad, and I'm just like, yo, you're gonna die eventually. And I broke down. <laughs> <laughs> but ever since then, I've never had that kind of like. I guess I'm jaded as an older person. Uh, I I can't. But it hits hard that. at one point. Yeah, I can't say that I remember. The first time or like what age I was at when I really started like tackling with those fucking ideas. But yeah, definitely. I don't know. I, I remember being younger and like, uh, like I, I watched, uh, I'd watch movies and I'd think that the people in them were dying for real. Cause it was like, it looked too real, dude. And I was, I was just a dumb kid. I would watch the movies and my brain, like I rationalized it. I was like, Oh, well if, if that explosion happened and like the car blew up and the, the, you see the body go flying, like somebody had to die in that. They probably yeah. just like uh, they bring like criminals like from death row or something like people <laughs> that are about to die and they probably just like put them in the cars and that's just like that's how they do movies. They probably just kill people that are like about to be executed or something. And that was my fucking stupid kid brain like rationalization for what the fuck I was watching on the TV screens. I used to think that that shit was actually happening that people were dying in there for real though. It's like there's like ten Nick Cage's ten. Uh... <laughs> no, 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 I just, used to just think that every girl. time they shot a commercial, like when the guy's eating like let's say a Big Mac, or whatever, said the same guy always online like on the TV eating. Huh? Like, this guy must be fucking like sick of eating all these fucking Big Macs, you know? That's sick, dude. If he could do it forever, I could do. Yeah, exactly. Well, as a kid, I thought like they just come up to you uh, randomly in a restaurant and they just start videotaping you. And so I was like, oh man, I can't wait to laugh. <laughs> I remember when I watched uh, George of the Jungle. Oh, I feel like I'd have seen me probably done. George of the Jungle, the movie or the, the cartoon? No, the movie. When I was a kid. Like, <laughs> yeah. I remember there was a one part. Yeah, I used to eat, I had like a little fucking like a bowl of cereal or some shit watching the movie and like in the scene there's a rain that like spits and I used to cover my cereal because I thought it was the spit was going to hit the fucking uh, <laughs> the bowl. Like from the fucking like uh, the, the TV's uh, 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 stereo. I thought it was going to come the holes and fucking spit all over my face. I ate it at orangutan as a kid. Fucking <laughs> ate I Every time I used to cover the food while I was eating. I'm not going to lie, I thought that orangutan story was going to go somewhere else with it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because of what? the spit language. Oh, yeah, you thought he was going to open, open the mouth. Swearing at me the whole time. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're, you were understanding it from back then. That's where the fucking... Yeah. I'd rage like a little orangutan. Speaking of people dying on set, there was a movie oh. that someone made. Uh, I don't know if it was like an Italian thing or a French. But it was, it was like about Noah and like some kind of religious thing. And like people actually drowned. Jeez. In in the in the production of it, if you look it up on YouTube or something, Bro, it, was I like, heard, it was like crazy. I heard Alec Baldwin's getting charged for shooting that chick on the set last year. Yeah. Oh, finally! Yeah, with I don't really agree with that though. Like, it's not his fault. There's supposed to be people that take care of the props and stuff. Have yeah, you least, seen yeah. the picture of the prop master? No, but <laughs> should oh, I? Yeah. You're going oh. to rage. She looks like a 17 year old kid. Oh, yeah, I her, I I no that, fucking actually. shot. So bad. Her father was like, he's like some executive, whatever, got her the job. It's nepotism. And she fucked up. 
the fuck that big guy? Yeah, the, like, how is it that guy's fault though? The guy's literally like. I mean, I don't know. According to his why knowledge, you, it's not fucking you, loaded. Yeah, you know? but why are you even using a gun in a fucking movie? Like in this day of age, you could just fake all this shit. Well, most of most of the guns in the movies are obviously props, though. Like, yeah, props. But, you don't fake it, though. Yeah, but they put an actual round. That was the problem. It was a functioning weapon. Mm. Yeah, and they were supposed to put blanks, but the bitch fucked up. Yeah. I don't know. All that, that, that's not the actor's right, fault, though. Yeah. The fuck's the actor supposed to know if the gun? Like, you well, give him the no, gun already. This is a scene. The thing is that he's not oh, just the actor. He's, yeah, no, he, no, no, but, he's the producer sorry, or some shit. He, like, oh. He, but the is fault he? is also the fact that when you're handed a weapon, you're supposed to always treat it like it's loaded. You're not supposed to. That is true. Yeah. Fire yeah. And shit. No, but also it's that he's not. If he's not just the actor, I think he's he's a uh, executive yeah, producer kind of guy. Or director. Oh, yeah. So everybody that's working there is working under him. So, it, but he pulled the trigger. Yeah, he gave the green light for this fucking chick to to do it. Yeah, exactly. And uh, okay, and okay. any any fuck up safety wise is kind of on him. That's my understanding of it a little bit too. Because because mm. he's not he wasn't just like the actor that fucked up. He's the dude that had to ensure things from the top down also because of his his other. I didn't know that. Okay, yeah, okay. I, think, I think that's what it was. Right, did he fucking the big shot a chick in the fucking head or some shit? On That's fucked up, yeah. And he's, uh... he, shot, he shot her through the chest, and the bullet hit a guy behind her. Uh, no behind fucking her. way. Oh yeah, he shot through the camera or some shit. Did what kind shoot? of gun was it, man? A fucking he magnum. It's the camera. Fuck. Yeah. Shot her. She was like the script writer or some shit like that. It hit her in the chest. The, killed her instantly or whatever. Bullet hit a guy in the arm and behind her. What caliber was that <laughs> fucking gun, dude? Like what was the bullet caliber? <laughs> Must have been like a forty or something. That's retarded. Yeah, it's pretty. But at least the caliber. It depends on. Uh, well, it depends on. Well, to go through a camera and fucking hit someone in the chest and hit someone else oh, after that's a big ass fucking yeah, bullet, bro. Thing, if it was a hollow bullet, it would have opened up. That's fucked. It, it, it was an actual bullet though, because I know like Brandon Lee's situation. Like it was a blank, but there was like debris in the chamber, and that's what killed him. No, this was yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Blank, these blanks are stupid because they're like made to look like real bullets, and they and the blank. What it is is that it's it it it's supposed to fake fire. But because mm -hmm. yeah. it malfunctioned, it fired the actual round, and that's what killed Brandon Lee. That's oh, yeah. there's a round stuck in the barrel. Oh, there was a round stuck in the barrel. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's what it was. It was a round. Yeah. Stuck. It, it, yeah, but, but that's the problem. Like they're, they're these even these these that's fake fucked up. Are, are, seen, man. are dangerous. Like why? Well, the shoes you, have guns, bro. <laughs> like when we were kids in Dollarama, remember the cap guns? Yeah. Pa, 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 pa. Oh, the realism. You could just see Jello realism yeah. now, like Dino said. Well, listen, it doesn't get more real than that, bro. Yeah, she fucking. No, but like, ah, insane, I mean, it's TGX now, like, whatever. Like, they they can like post, they can put stuff in after. You could put like like muscle flash and stuff and. Oh. Sound. Yeah, this I, I'm just gonna post what she looks like. I just don't know why there was a 17 year old girl like in charge of that though. It's kind of yeah, insane. I don't remember seeing that's this. who gave. Yo, she was a scriptwriter. She just came up with the idea, you know. So like. That's who gave Baldwin the gun. Yeah. The fucking kid. No, okay, dude. Okay, no, actually, that says everything. Yeah, it's not. A good <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I understand completely. <laughs> it's not a good. It's not a good scene, dude. Not a good. Scene I mean, look at her, man. She looks like a deviant, little wild west freaking psychopath. Yeah, that's like. Yeah, she's come on. Honestly, you could have just sent me that picture like earlier, and I could have put the whole context into the story. That's yeah. 100%. That was the what's the title? The arms master or whatever the person that handles all the weaponry on the set. What was it? Yeah. Dude, was the, okay, dude. Like, tell her to master go back to Starbucks. Arms, <laughs> Oh, it's not great. That's not great. Yeah, it's a fucking it's a big, uh, yeah. like a kid too on a movie with fucking real guns being used. Probably would have been. It has to have been one of her first gigs too, because like at that age, you can't be. You can't have been in the fucking industry particularly long. And either. she was nervous. Well, is she, she getting? Is she is she getting any like any of the blame? Oh, it's yeah. all falling on the yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fucked up. But yeah. Anyways, we'll see what happens. With Alec Baldwin, bro. Well, I mean, he can't really win the case. He fucking killed someone, right? Like, uh... Oh, who knows? These celebrities have gotten away with worse. I guess so, yeah. What's the... What was the one there? The... Um, the Kardashian dad that's the mom, Jenner, Bruce... Uh, Bruce became what? Bruce Bush, Jenner. Right? Yeah, Bruce Jenner. What's, yeah. what's, uh, what's his name now that he... That uh, he's, he tra Caitlin. transitioned? Caitlin. Caitlin. Yes. Yeah. That, didn't that... Uh, I don't remember if it was when uh, before or after. Didn't he fucking... He or she run over like a couple people with a fucking... Yeah, car? he ran a bitch over. Yeah, what the fuck is yeah. that, dude? Jesus Christ. That shit happens too. And they're just like... Oh, that was the joke story. Ricky Gervais, remember? He's like... Uh, a lot of people... Woman of the year, but didn't, didn't, didn't do good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> didn't do good for women driving. 
Yeah, dude. It's fucking... And that, they, dude, he, uh, she now, whatever the fuck situation was when it happened, it got off scot-free. There's, like, nothing fucking... He just... Oh, didn't Matthew Broderick kill, like, two people in a driving accident? I think too? so, yeah. Drunk. Matthew Broderick? Wow. He just like ran a lot of squad that do that shit. Celebrities do, yeah, you could get away with a fucking lot, dude. That's why Alex Baldwin, <laughs> maybe maybe no time, maybe nothing happened, I don't know. But yeah, the motherfucker, I just heard this the other day, you got Fuck. charged for shooting that lady. It's fucked up, dude. The crazy world out there, dude. The power of fucking celebrity and cash money. That's what it is. It all goes back to the fucking the, the thing, dude. You, all you gotta do is become famous and then you're fucking fixed. You ascend to godhood, dude. Celebr That's it. That's celebrity cool. people don't live in the rest of the, the world with the rest of us. They're out there fucking going crazy, making up their own rules. That's the thing. That's like the, you know, like the the Alex Jones thing. You know, of like <laughs> the, the goddamn reptiles and the fucking aliens and all that shit. Of like, oh. the, huh? I just, got that, a, man. I just got a text from one of my friends in all caps: Greta Thunderbird is Satan's daughter. What the fuck is that? I don't know. I just wrote context for the, the question mark. Fuck. The fuck is that happened? This guy. Was that that thing, dude. What? I don't know. That's actual. I was just talking to Alex Jones shit, and you get a fucking text that literally could be ripped out of an Infowars fucking like transcript. <laughs> Andrew Tate, man, he's texting you. That that is so like the thing. Bars. Huh? What'd you say? I was saying Andrew Tate texted him. Andrew Tate. That devil child. Yeah, that guy's in fucking jail. Yeah, he had beef with her, remember? Yeah, yeah, he did something over the tweets and fucking some bullshit. The Matrix is coming for me. The Matrix, the Matrix is coming for me. Oh, He's like, she's part of a cult. She's a cultist. She's a con artist. I'm like, bro, what's happening? Why are you texting me this? I'm gonna she's fuck. like fucking 14 years old, dude. What cult? I don't know. It's, it, I, like, I get it, okay? Like, they're, like, they're using her to push global warming? But like I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, uh, yeah, hundred percent. But I don't think we'll talk, also global warming though. Like it's kind of, in my opinion, it's kind of weird because it's a natural cycle of the Earth, and like apparently, no, our you're CO2, right. Our CO two like emissions, yeah, like the CO two in our atmosphere currently, are like very low compared to what they used to be back like thousands of years ago, whatever. At certain points. No, but so like, but, but no one's denying, no one's denying that it's not. That's not the problem. It's Something you're right. Probably, a, yeah. a volcano exploding could emit more co2 than any human has ever done the problem is that it's we like we're human beings we know what we do and we're advancing the the climate into a, a, a point that you know is going to be damaging to us a point that we like if had we not done this we'd be in a, a, a good position but we're pushing it that's that's the problem yeah it's, it's, like not that, it's, not, it's not that the cycle doesn't happen or that other things don't affect you know climate change is that we're pushing it to an extent that shouldn't be pushed it's like a lot of things change. where the truth lies somewhere in the middle kind of thing. It's not that it's not that it's just a natural thing of the environment and that we have no influence on it. And it's not that it's just humans that have completely yeah. fucking it's somewhere in between where it's like, yeah, these things, there's cycles of how these things happen from. And then there's <laughs> but what are we doing on top of it? that is making it worse that and what could we do to make it better and how reasonable is it to fucking but then there's all then there's hundreds of millions of fucking dollars mixed into it and all like tax breaks and fucking this is and that's and incentives and business fucking things and everybody taking money that's where then that's where the fucking real mess of it is it's like who what's actually happening when any of these things are being put through uh, to actually better the situation and how much of it is just like a transfer of millions of fucking dollars between hands of people that are just kind of in charge of everything. That's that's one the unfortunate fucking where everything gets to at the end of the day when it had when anything with politics at major fucking scales comes around, it's well is it are we fixing anything or is this just are we just playing this side versus that side so that the guys in the middle could just make a whole bunch of fucking money again. I think he's texting me this because of the the whole thing there where the uh, her getting arrested was like set up apparently. What got the, arrested? She didn't get her, Tate got arrested. You're talking about right? no, no, uh, thought it, she, she went to a protest or whatever. She was protesting, I forgot what. Oh, and, like, oh, the, yeah, the cops, I saw like, that picture. And stuff. yeah, but apparently, like, those videos like that went out showing her like posing with the policeman, like holding her and stuff. And it was like an actor, like, it was all BS. Apparently, it was a false know. flag. This is actual Alex Jones content, 100 <laughs> fucking false flag operation. Dude. What the fuck? I literally spoke his name three times and he appeared. I mean, personally, I don't really give a fuck about that shit, but like, I just I was like reading about it at work when I was bored. I like my conspiracies to have to do with fucking uh, demons and fucking aliens and shit. Oh, I'm full of conspiracies. I like reading conspiracy theories just because they're fun. Tell me a spooky one. Tell me one that fucking really rustled, rustled those fucking uh, that brain of yours. I don't know. There's like so many random ones. Q 
QAnon. The QAnon's been fucking really done to death ones. now. QAnon's been fucking... Ever since the Callahan guy got his hands on it, QAnon's been fucking done to death now. It's fucking... What's well, like a... You, any, any, you like any fucking monster story kind of ones? What about like fucking Mothman and fucking uh, Yetis and shit? Do you like any oh, of that? I'm so into huh? I am so into cryptozoology. You think that shit's cool? I'm so uh, into so, yeah. I love it. I, I don't believe in any of it, but I fucking love it. I love that shit. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, um, I don't have any uh, like animal ones, but apparently like this is story going around that I forgot this guy it was some guy's name I don't I can't remember obviously it was somewhere in Canada he was videotaping something like far away on a mountain that was like very fucking tall and it was like moving. Oh yeah, yeah, that was that was Ooh. debunked. That was uh, uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still. it looked fucking sick. Yeah, but the guy bad. died apparently. Like he turned up dead. After yeah, the video was, was released, dead, it was weird. But, uh, but they t it's a picture from the other side. It's just a radio tower. It's literally the tower, like the a communication uh, tower. Yeah, the let me try to find the article. <laughs> so people were saying like, oh, like they killed him because they tried to silence him. But like, I, I don't know. Like it was just like interesting to read. But Yeah. Yeah. But the thing with c conspiracies for me is like, hey, the guy died. Okay. Do you have any proof the guy died? Or just like, I heard th they said that he died. It's like... Yeah, sometimes. And then there's the ones that they do. I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find it. And then there's the ones that they do right in front of everybody, like the Epstein shit, right? When then you're like, oh, yeah, it turns out conspiracies are yeah, actually... Yeah, and then there you go. They actually kill the guy, yeah. and all the it points to like him being killed, and then it's like, oh, no, we, did, we didn't kill him. Yeah, and that's when you get reminded of that some love. of these fucking crazy motherfuckers out there in the world that are fucking talking some shit. They got ideas. Hey, yo, I'll link the video. Fucking... It says here... Andrew Dawson dead months after filming this video. Hashtag giant on a mountain. CIA Canada conspiracy unveiled. I don't fucking. CIA Canada. I don't know. This is what I read, though. This is it. Yeah, you can post it. I'm, I'll take a picture. Like, I'm not going to watch it now. Live on the it was, uh, no, I'm just saying it was going around yeah, and it was just like I, interesting. But like, I don't fucking know, man. Uh, oh. I, I didn't do any research on if the guy's really dead or not. Like, I was just like reading about yeah. it. I was just like, you know. Yeah, you just reading. saw a little thing. I'm thinking I'm about yeah, it. Yeah. I'll take a peek. I'll well, fucking after, maybe. It's the hat, man. It's hard to tell, though. Like, it's always like the shitty videos that are like. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got a love gun in here. The hat man real I see. I, 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 had, I, had, I had to Google that. What, what, I'm the assuming guy's you're, name talk, you're talking about the night terrors, the man with the black hat kind of thing, the thing that appears when you're like night paralysis. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks for using my real... Anyway, <laughs> fuck it, that doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Talking about the, the man with the black hat, the thing that, uh, you know, sleep paralysis? You guys ever have that? Yeah. Yeah, where you like, yeah, it's trippy as shit, where man. You wake up but you're not awake and you're asleep but you're not asleep. That thing there's a there's a character there's a person that there's like a a figure that, that people have reported seeing. Uh that's like uh, many people have reported seeing the same kind of person while in that state. Like a dude, uh like a long dude, like an exaggeratedly long dude that's all black. He's like made of shadow and he has a he has a he has a black hat, like a Slenderman? Like, uh no <laughs> but yeah kind of that's that's what that's based off of kind of thing like that's that 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 type of horror imagery there's like an old a story that's been going it's been going around for a long time about the man in the the man in the black hat that appears with the sleep paralysis whatever it's called babadook babadook ba it's called is that it, is that it? I, I don't know if there's but a that's, you're talking about a guy with a hat i remember that's that, that's a character it's a movie though yeah. it's a movie i don't know well yeah it's, it's a british a noir film there's definitely like old fucking folk tale, fairy tale fucking things, but there's in like a more a more modern kind of like a like a UFO-y kind of context. There's uh well there there's different kind of interpretations and ideas about it, I guess. But there's one uh, I think that goes with the man in the black hat that it's like a like like a, like some type of alternate dimension being that that's the only way that you can kind of perceive of it. Yeah, some shit. Oh no, but it doesn't have a face usually. At least not in. The face isn't usually like so white. It's, it's usually a very kind of dark figure through and through, and the hat's shorter. I remember it being more of like a. At least, I I've seen. I saw it uh, once. I think once, if more than once, I forgot. I've seen it too. It's uh, it's just an interesting thing that like multiple people say they've seen the same kind of thing in like that state, you know. Yeah. And there's some conspiracy things about it. It's kind of like the where that it's like either that it's um some kind of fucking ancient evil and that's just like the way that you could kind of process it in your brain, or there's the other direction that's more like the men in black kind of theory of like it's this uh some kind of like uh supernatural like organization or like person that's a that's a part of something else and like they fucking like they 
it, like some kind of matrixy men in blacky thing where like you see them and you don't remember and they're like in your head kind of fucking like uh like fucking watching over the matrix kind of shit you know like that's uh, that's the kind of conspiracy things around the that they uh that they're like operators of the fucking uh of the simulation a little you know, you know oracle what, you know what i'm saying kill them all good to you man oh anyways yeah you guys uh you have any fucking words on that or i'm just uh, talking to the void on that you guys ever have a sleep paralysis not once no, no. you ever see yes yeah, yeah, yeah you ever see uh, no never you ever heard of this character yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if I remember seeing a figure like that or not, but once I was on my fucking bed, I was like, I don't know, like 12 or something. And I fucking, I was like, well, I couldn't, I was like, I don't know, man. I was fucking like something crushing my arm, my chest. And I was like, I was like looking at the door and there's like something in the door and I was having like massive anxiety or something. Yeah. And I was like awake and sleeping. And it's like, ah, 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 and then I just like fell off my bed magically somehow and it knocked me out of it. And I was like, oh, thank fucking God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had a, I had a, I've had a sleep paralysis only a handful of times ever in my life, but one time I saw the, this this thing, whatever the thing. That's but my brain manifested it. I don't know. It's like some. I don't know what the fuck. But I did. I, I've seen this dude. The thing that uh, yeah, there, there was definitely something in my doorway, but I, I don't remember exactly anymore. But when you were talking about it, I was like picturing it, but at the same time, I'm not sure if it was just like because uh, I'm stoned and imagining the person, or there was just a figure, you know. Well, maybe don't go look at general chat because in general chat, there's some uh, some fucking ideas. It might jog some fucking memories. It might yoink the fucking things back out of the brain. But yeah, this is definitely this is definitely what I was looking at. Amish man. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. It's just like a. Yeah, it's a fucking Quaker old dude. Yeah, but. Uh, <laughs> But it's like uh like made of you shadows, you this this literally just looks like a dude wearing a thing, which is it's ominous enough, it's weird. But in real life the the whole room would be a lot darker. Uh it doesn't like he stands out on like a whitish background. In the real fucking world, when you wake up and it's the middle of the night, everything's much darker. And the dude is like made of shadow though. He's not like this you could it's this is a three D shape and it's it's like kinda obvious. It's you know, it's not it's a picture. It's like somebody fucking put this on a website. But the real Last thing. Last time I had though. The, the has to. The, I don't fuck. I don't make the rules. <laughs> a lot of people have seen. A lot of people have seen the dude with the hat. A lot of people. Oh, cause go. I'm, I'm like not even not even joking. My dad like he said that shit. He saw like dark shit, shadows. One time he was sleeping with my mom when they were younger, and like he like he woke up, and he saw it at the, at the foot of his bed, and he was like choking my mom out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking it was crazy, man. It's gnarly shit. Yeah, and then she was like, she was freaking out, and he's like, "What the fuck?" And then when when he when he, like we let go over, and he looked, and it, he just saw it, like fade away. So I don't know. Yeah, that... my, my my dad like loves that kind of. Well, doesn't love that shit, but he believes in that shit. Yeah, it's fucking. Spooky. There's some spooky stuff, man. Spooky is weird, and there's a lot of people that like what they feel like they got a good look at it. That's what they're looking at, more or less. Uh, yeah. Yo, this. It's kind of some wonky shit, dude. Yeah, I never had that uh, sleep paralysis thing or anything. It's some fucked people, up dreams. People that suffer from that as like an actual thing that they just have. Actually, I don't even remember. It's like dream. having a dream inside a dream, having inside another dream. It's fucked up, man. Like an inception, but like a stupid one. Yeah. yeah. Like you're getting chased by fucking giant grizzly bears. <laughs> and then you fucking uh, jump off a bridge. Yeah. Into a pit of fucking alligators, man. That's <laughs> how you run away. Before you fucking hit the water, you fucking wake up. Oh, fucking, you're in your bedroom, you think you're okay, next thing you know, the fucking roof, the roof comes ripping off, Godzilla's ripping down the place, man. <laughs> then you wake up, what the fuck was that? Oh, I'm late for school? You go to school, you have a full day, you go to bed, you wake up, you think it's the weekend, no, you slept all, and you dreamt the whole fucking day of school. <laughs> and that's the fucking worst thing, I've had those. And then your the... mom's like, why are you at school? What do you mean it's Saturday, no, it's fucking Friday today. Yeah. <laughs> I've had those dream in the dream where one of them is a day of school too. Okay, that well, is the I'm, fucking. That's. I've the... had fucking dreams where yeah, I was like, I have to study for an exam. I'm freaking my <laughs> shit, and I wake up. I'm like, what the fuck was that, man? <laughs> oh, I actually <laughs> dreamt of like questions and stuff. I'm like, how the why the fuck did my brain think of these things? Yeah, you go through, you go through like seventy percent of the day, and then like there's something that happens at school, like something a like car drives through a wall or some kind of weird shit, and then you're like, oh, that's a fucking that was just a weird day, I guess. People were talking to you in a way that was weird. Somebody was at the school that maybe shouldn't have been there you, you you hung out with a friend at lunch that you don't usually but then like the day goes by and then something weird happens towards the end and then you and then you wake up and you're like that was just none of that even fucking happened dude. 
I mean, yeah, I fucking, it was, it was a regular day. I went home and I went to bed and I thought it was a fucking All the way after. through, it never even hinted that it was fucking fake. You just did the whole No, I, I went through That's the whole, because the thing is, I woke up twice in my dream to be in a third dream that I woke <laughs> up and went to school. Yeah. That's... And then I went home and then I went to bed, but that was the dream. That was the <laughs> third one. And That's then when I wake cool. up, I think I did a whole day of sleep, like a whole day of school. <laughs> yeah. I've had I've had that, but usually there's something that like something goes weird uh, in it where I know I'm like, all right, okay, this isn't actually real in the end. Like something usually, but it might have felt a bit faster than normal. But like I had, I don't know, man. Yeah, but it was still convincing. Yeah, yeah, that's just yeah. Hard. And then you ever have? I've had some shit like that where there's I've had uh, multiple days in a row or like in a short period of time where I remember dreams very clearly. And in if in a few of those dreams there was real life shit that happened, there will be points then when I'm in the awake fucking world, and I'll like talk to someone, and then I'll something will pop in my head like a conversation that we had, but it was never a real. It was just a dream conversation. But it just did that ever happen? You ever like you ever talk to someone and you think that you talked about something, but it didn't actually happen. It happened in a very clear fucking recent vivid regular day dream. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, it would have been like a deja vu then, maybe. If anything, yeah, kind those of. Those freak me out, man. I, I've had dreams where I've, I've seen shit in the future, because like I remember specifically having deja vu and being like, I fucking dreamt that, like in the past. Going to places and like going into the same thing, and doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah dude, it's insane. It freaked me out the most, I think, because even like during this podcast, I had one when we're talking about the monks. I'm looking at pictures of the monks, and I, I feel like we had this conversation already, but like exactly the way we were mm-hmm. having it. So I don't know what the fuck that is, that feeling. It's so strange. So that's where you turn around and the guy. I heard like I heard like it's it's like there you you've you've encountered a similar situation, but your brain kinda like because it picks up on similarities, it actually tricks you into thinking, Oh, I've done it already. I'm sure that's what I'm saying. I think that's what it is, yeah. There's no way you fucking tell the future, obviously. Or or the other obvious truth is that there are multiple fucking realities happening parallel to each other simultaneously, and something about the fucking molecules of your brain fucking tapped into the molecules of the alternate reality used brain and you fucking lived and experienced two times fucking sideways kind of shit. I wanna that. Or schizophrenic, I'm like the moon knight. The moon knight. Dude. Disney Plus, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, boys. It's oh. fucking 10 p.m., dude. We cranked this one, actually. We fucking cranked this to the 10 o'clock hour. Uh, I was, was going to join on, on, uh, on the Metro, but there was a crazy guy yelling. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I had to pick up. That's all good. That's, I like this one. This is actually sick. This is probably the biggest fucking jam we had in a little while. I think it was, it was nice and cool. I think we call it. It's about an hour and a half. That's like a pretty sick length. I think we call it, dude. We hit the ten o'clocky range. We got a nice little chit chat. Any last word? Any uh, any things you guys want to pop in before I fucking disconnect us from the matrix here a little bit? Any any couple of fucking any nothing? Is there a uh, happy to join? Is there a for the first time? Love gonna get hit us with a little ekis on the way out or something? Was it? Ek. One little ekis. What? Shaya. One little. Oh, oh. muted his mic. I thought he was gonna make a noise or something, but I didn't hear nothing. Oh. All right, motherfuckers, as always, thanks for listening. Thanks for lending me your uh, your fucking your mouths and your ears. Uh, take it easy. Take it sleazy. Catch you next week. We're going to stay in here, probably hang out a little bit. But this is uh, the end of the show. Have a good uh, day, morning. Rip didn't catch my voice. Nah, dude. Uh, later, Gators. Bang. <laughs>